Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we'll see two focal points in space weather, another star, super flares. We'll look at Enceladus chemistry, dusty plasma, the last excursion, and pink aurora. But we're starting, as always, with the sun, and here's the last 24 hours on our star. Solid eruptive events around the limb and on the far side, but nothing much more on the Earth-facing heliographic longitudes. We had previously said a tiny CME may have been released our way, and this morning we have the officials over at the NOAA Space Weather Prediction Center in agreement. Small, non-scary shock waves slowly heading our way, not likely to arrive until Monday or Tuesday. It's unclear whether this will even be strong enough to cause a low-level geomagnetic storm. Now the sunspot situation is largely unchanged. The big developed group has stabilized as it turns towards the limb, and the remaining spots trailing it are leaving a good bit to be desired. Flare likelihood is very low without significant development there, but the incoming quadrant on our star does have my attention for another reason. That corona hole may be tight, but it's dead across the equator and it will hit us with enhanced solar wind. And it's flanked by some sizable filaments. We're going to be watching those closely for breaks in their stability. Up first in the articles, they spotted a star pulling an X 2.5 million flare. Huge. Bigger than the entire class of dwarf nova and micronova. Something like this from the sun would cook our planet in milliseconds. Everything's dead. Good thing it happened far away in the galaxy. Enceladus up next. They have confirmed complex organic chemistry in the interior by sampling the jet emission from the Saturnian moon's south pole. They have even pretty well pegged the process for how those volatiles make it up from the core to be sprayed out into space. Fantastical article up next on dusty plasma when it enters the atmosphere. Folks, I really hope I don't make some alien and UFO folks too mad here when I say this. I do believe we are not the only life. I believe it's been here and is still here now, and I have no idea if they are interstellar, interdimensional, or angels and demons. But I am getting pretty sure that some of the glowing orbs are actually dusty plasma balls that agglomerated and are charged sinks and have entered glow mode. Please don't hit me. Excellent story here on Earth's magnetic field in the mid-Holocene from the upcoming AGU-25 meeting. Based on how this team traditionally does measurements, and I do know their work, they should be coming back a bit older than reality, and that is exactly what we see. Pegging the NOAA event to 7,000 years ago and reality closer to 6 to match the rest of the data from around the world, alas, a solid confirmation, and the first confirmation of this event from the Middle East. Lastly, folks, yank this off spaceweather.com this morning. Folks, whether it's the outsized KP index marks or unusual auroral displays, my broken record keeps playing through the speakerphone of space weather. Not only was this past week's solar storm psychotically outsized for the little thing that hit us, but the auroras went pink again. This requires extreme and unusual penetration depths of the plasma and is being seen more and more these days as the weakening magnetic field of Earth allows that plasma to blast deeper and deeper into the atmosphere. Folks, the winter tour is set, five cities from the end of November through March, and it's much more than just disaster information. It's how to survive, checklists and data packets for you, and of course, a Q&A. The ticket page is linked below. All the tickets are on that same one page. Select the one you want on the list and then scroll down to finish. Can't wait to see you guys out there. And we are looking for local sponsors for each of these events. Email us through ObserverRanch.com to sponsor one. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.